I was asked by someone, if, how should one start this program? And I have two answers, which is so typically Chinese. And the one is that one should start. Wherever it is, you jump in. And if one waits for the perfect beginning, it never happens. But that being said, if I could wave a magic wand and a blank slate was to show up and I could commit to that blank slate, the perfect method, as far as I am convinced at this point, is that the person is observing in the clinic while learning the Taoist Zhangfu acupressure massage. So it would be clinical observation to remove any ideas of what illness is or isn't and to keep things very tangible. And the skill set would be the Taoist Zhangfu acupressure massage system. Because it's directly hands-on, you are manipulating a chi in the patient, you are listening with your fingers, and you are physically touching the viscera of your patient. And so it's really hard to be esoteric when you have a finger pushing in at stomach 25. Just by nature, part of the Taoist Zhangfu acupressure is a perfect treatment is you work on them, and they pass gas on the table, and they have a great bowel movement within a few hours to the next day. So if a person is going to hopefully fart on you every time you treat them, and then you're going to follow up with, did you have a good poop? It's going to be really hard to get all esoteric. Okay? It's just, it doesn't get more grounded than that. Uh, and from there, the next step would be to learn more and more of the, what I call the yin-style bagua body work. But remember, it's only yin-style bagua body work because it's done with a intensity and a full body commitment that everybody used to have. But all the techniques, pushing is pushing, pressing is pressing, padding is padding. It's just done with more clear thought, but there's nothing unique to it. Uh, so the Taoist Zanfu acupressure and pulling chi and being in the clinic. So then you know within 30, you know, 30 to 100 days, a person has tangible skills that you can say, okay, this patient, you need to do the Taoist Zanfu acupressure in the clinic uh, for 40 minutes. And as they progress from there, they learn to have the good chi, they learn to be able to rock, the basic skill set to be able to do the yuan chi protocol because they've got the chi, that then this person comes along and you can tell them in the clinic to work on this or do chi work or do spiral staircase or just get physically involved in the patient. From there, since one is now very comfortable working on a body and understanding a light touch versus a heavier touch, moving chi versus moving blood, then you introduce them to needles. And I personally believe that in this world, as it is currently structured, it's best to start them with physical injuries because it, there's not a lot of esoteric theory involved. One has to be very good at judging chi, being very clear about what blockage and stasis is, but uh, you can immediately fix people who have bad backs, bad shoulders, bad knees, are facing surgeries, and within an easy-to-learn skill set, reverse that, which is miraculous. Uh, and when one has that first moment of, gosh, I did this, and the next day they come in and they say, I am that much better and there's no mistaking it was you. Uh, it builds a level of confidence based on tangibility uh, that can be lost in the internal side when you're treating chronic disorders that take a long time to fix. From there, one is graduating into more on the internal side, uh, but it's a blurred line. You know, the, the techniques on the external and the internal are almost identical. It's a question of intensity and order, uh, but I would do that. In the meantime, at home, they are watching the Tao Te Ching, the Shan Han Lun, the Neijing, because we'll have it finished by then, uh, the Confucian classics, and all of these things that they're getting all of this great information that they are absorbing, and then when they come in, I can say with this patient, look at this, or afterwards the patient leaves and I say, you know, chapter 18 of the Tao Te Ching, there's nothing we're going to be able to do because of life is in their way. Or the Confucian classics of, you know, you said this and this, but you need to pay attention to the ripple effect that that had. And so if you can back up and judge accordingly how to play your words, you'll see that your efficacy will be much higher. And there's a framework for that uh, based out of the Confucian classics and the Tao Te Ching. As well as I can say, ah, look at this. They're vexed, and everyone's going to want to clear them, and you're going to want to do a draining technique on LI-11, and don't. 
It's actually deficiency. Shang Han Lun, this line. And they'll have heard it. They'll have watched it. And if they can't remember it or they haven't gotten there, they'll hop back and go watch that because it'll all be available. That's the gift. Uh, that's what we really hope in terms of like the magic world. But remember, Dr. Shea would always say when he was asked, what's the best time to practice? He'd say, any time you have. So hopping in, putting in the effort, and getting your hands dirty as soon as possible is the way to learn in the end.